All right, we're moving now to that breaking news of Bill Cosby being freed from prison. The move comes after Pennsylvania's highest court overturned his sexual assault conviction. And we're getting reaction from people in Shelburne where Cosby owns a home. 22 News anchor Don Shipman is covering this breaking story for us live in Franklin County. Good evening, Don. Ciara, good evening, and yeah, we're in between some raindrops here. We're in Buckland, like you said, we're just across the river from Shelburne Falls, and I want to kind of give you a look here because that right there is the iconic Bridge of Flowers you can see. Bill Cosby himself hasn't been here in Shelburne or Shelburne Falls in at least three years. We talked with people who live in this area. We're going to hear from them in just a moment, but first, let's get to the details of that court ruling late this afternoon. So the court said today that the they found an agreement with a previous prosecutor prevented Cosby from being charged in the case. The 83 year old was convicted in 2018 of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman in 2004 and was serving a three to 10 year sentence. He served nearly three of that sentence and he had vowed to serve the full 10 year sentence rather than acknowledge any remorse. Cosby was charged with sex assault in 2015 when a prosecutor armed with new evidence arrested him days before the 12 year statute of limitations expired. The trial judge had allowed just one other accuser to testify at Cosby's first trial when the jury deadlocked. However, he then allowed five other accusers to testify at the retrial about their experiences with Cosby in the 1980s. But here's the thing with that. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court today saying that that testimony tainted the trial. The state Supreme Court said that Cosby cannot be retried on the same charges. Now, also today, just about an hour and a half ago, Bill Cosby appeared at a news conference outside his home in Philadelphia. He did not speak, but when asked how he's feeling, a person with him, a representative replying, he is extremely happy to be home and he's looking forward to reuniting with his wife and children. Like we said, we've been chatting with people here in this area, kind of mixed results on how they feel about this. 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson is live from our Greenfield Bureau.